What's good everyone? It's your boy Santo G. Back at it. You already know. Spreading unity, prosperity, and respect. Above all, if you're new here, do me a favor. Hit that subscribe button. Tap that notification bell. It don't cost you nothing and it will help out this channel. So today, I wanted to talk about power struggles. What is a power struggle? What happens whenever there's a power struggle? So on and so forth, man. And I'm gonna just talk about the logistics of it. I'm not gonna expose any kind of game or anything like that. So don't get at me in the comments with no foolishness. Now, to all my real people, all my real subscribers, man, that tune in every day just to hear my knowledge, my stories, my wisdom, big salute to you guys and I appreciate you guys that's why I wanted to touch on this subject I'm pretty sure you don't watch the movie you don't seen something on YouTube on TV something that piqued your curiosity or whenever they touch on so-and-so was having a power struggle with so-and-so and then these people ended up getting whacked because you guys know there's a lot of stories of big homies having power struggles bumping heads and all that's gonna happen is there's gonna be a lot of casualties in the middle just because two individuals wanna bump heads because they're never gonna go against each other it's not like if this individual is gonna go against this individual head to head let me tell you guys a perfect example of getting caught up in a power struggle now when i was in county in 2010 i remember this so vividly man i remember being right there with the homie he's the homie that picked the tattoos on my chins you know what i mean and i just remember being there with the homie and one day we would get a wheelie from this person because my homeboy was helping out right there, so on and so forth. So I don't want to say his name, but it was a homie from the hood. So we're right there, chilling. Out of nowhere, people come back from court. We get a wheel out. Hey, this dorm, this dorm, this dorm, and this dorm, they're all no good. If you run into any of them at visit or whatever, take flight. If you don't take flight, you're going to get caught up. So... That's a wheel out, right, that we're getting from a big homie on this side. Pretty much saying, hey, anybody working for that man in all these dorms over here, you run into anybody, it's on site with those dorms. Like, what? It don't even sound right, but it's coming from a reliable source. So you're like, eee. Call a couple of the homies. Hey, Kyle, read this. Hey, read this, read this. They're all tripping out, right? Tell me why next day, Boom, now we get a wheel out from all those dorms. That side, right? Telling us, hey, this side and this side and these dorms are no good. If you see them, fly them. So now we're in a position where it's like, hold on. These people are telling us to fly these people and now these people are telling us to fly these people. So it's like, you're damned if you do and you're damned if you don't. Eventually, you gotta pick a side and you better hope that you're you're on the winning side. You better hope that your side is the one with the bigger mouthpiece. That's the definition of a power struggle right there. Is when two people are at odds and they start sending little wheelas, start sending little workers to flight these people, then these people are doing the same to these people. And now they got all of us in the middle. And like I said, that's why whenever I say anytime that you're gonna boobop somebody, anytime you're gonna go on a mission and you're gonna put your hands on someone cause you know it's a no hands policy. Anytime you do that, that's why I say ask as many questions as you can, ask who sponsored it, who called it, so on and so forth. What were the reasons? So that way you don't get caught up in situations like that because you don't know how many people I've seen solid, solid, but just got led in the wrong way by the wrong people and it ended their career. So it's stuff that is not to be played with. 
I just wanted to touch on what is the definition of a power struggle. The definition of a power struggle, in my eyes, is when there's two big homies bumping heads, say they want a certain prison or they want a certain county, a certain yard, and they're not getting it, then stuff like that is gonna come into play where they're gonna start sending wheelas, start making calls, start trying to green light these people, then people are gonna try to do the same and it's all up to whoever has the best mouthpiece, whoever has the most backing pretty much. It's your boy Santo G, I just wanted to touch on that one. You guys let me know, man. Any power struggles you guys have been in. I'm talking about where you on that yard and without saying any information and stuff like that, but it's just real stuff. Real stuff that happens every day behind them walls and no one talks about it honestly no one talks about it i feel like barely now people are still starting to touch on real topics in a real manner and we're starting to voice ourselves but if you ever wonder man what's a power struggle and how stuff happens exactly right there how it happens like say for example right they tell me hey that person over there needs to go whoa, whoa, whoa. Me and boy go do it. Boop, 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 boop. Next thing you know, we're in the back. Hey, what'd you do? Woo, woo. Why'd you do it? Woo, woo. And if that situation wasn't a true call, then I'm liable to get poop, bow, bow. In the back or poop, bow, bow. Either in the back or as soon as I come out because I put my hands on somebody that I necessarily shouldn't have put my hands on. So situations like i said that happen every day stay out on the streets you don't have to worry about stuff like that that's the best advice i could give you i just wanted to touch on this real raw sensitive topic uncut you already know how we do i appreciate you guys shout out killer kush check them out on ig at killer kush underscore underscore 420 shout out hate our extracts check them out on ig at hate our extracts number one Shout out Cali Herbs Los Angeles. Check them out on IG at Cali Herbs Official. And you know I can't forget about my good people at Frenchie Road Kennels. If you guys want top of the line pup, anything that has to do with dogs, get at my good people at Frenchie Road Kennels. That's Frenchie underscore row underscore kennels on IG. And with that being said, man, we out.